So up guys, he can here bringing you a video regarding uh, the Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta or slash Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater remake. So it's finally been confirmed, it's finally happening. Uh, before I go further, remember to like and subscribe please. And yeah, let's get into this. So Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta or Metal Gear so Solid Delta as it's called, which makes a lot more sense if they're going to go chronologically order. You know, they don't want to confuse the audience with Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta. Like, no, Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta Snake Eater. Yeah, make, makes a bit more sense. Like, um, which is weird because they're not doing that with Silent Hill 2, like a remake. So, OK, whatever, I guess. Um, what do I think about this? Uh, from what we've heard and from the images I've seen, it seems that this this remake is going to be a similar situation to the bloody Last of Us remake. Yeah. I'm going to say it right now, guys. I'm happy this remake is happening, but calling it a remake is a lie. It's not a remake. It's, it's a glorified, high-budget remaster. That's what it is. Uh... A remake would in, would entail that uh, there's going to be you know new music, new dialogue, um, and potentially new cutscenes and new story elements and that to expand on it. But no, it's from what they've said, this is going to be the same game, and they've already confirmed they're using the same audio from MGS3, so they're not cutting anything out. They're keeping it the same. They're keeping the same audio. They're not bringing voice actors back and. It, to be honest, it will be impossible to do that either because a lot of the uh, some of the Japanese voice actors have passed away, and I think there's some there, there's some there, there's there's a there's a cultural thing in Japan where they where they don't want to like like bring new actors to voice all the characters if they pass away. I think not all the time at least when it when it when it when it comes to certain storylines like for for example Kisame in Naruto uh, when his Japanese voice actor died. They never brought a new voice actor back, and his character passed away, by the way, in in at that point. So like, uh, he, he's actual character. So you know, there was no more story elements. But when they had the chance to do new story elements, they didn't bring a voice actor in. Apparently, like uh, for example, that Naruto game they did, where which taught the origins of the Akatsuki. They didn't really, uh, yeah, they they left Kisame voiceless for for a portion. We never saw that part of the story where they recruit him. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that, but uh, I, I feel like I feel like that's something they they sometimes try not to do. Like uh, if, if the story is complete, and that they don't want to replace it, I get it. But um, maybe I'm wrong about that. Correct me if I am wrong. Like if I'm wrong, tell me. Like I, I, uh, but it's just it's, it's just I've seen that before in in anime, and it's like why? And that's the that's the explanation I've gotten from people online. So maybe they're wrong, and they're telling me the wrong thing. So, but. Yeah, I mean, I imagine that's one of the reasons why they didn't want to bring the voice actors back because they want to keep it true and pay respect to the OG ones with the with the Japanese audio as well. So maybe that's the reason. Um, so yeah, there's not going to be any big story significance like or changes. So then, what's what's the changes then? Graphical updates and from the images we've seen, yeah, it looks graphically amazing, but that's about it. Like this is just a similar situation with Last of Us One remake where it's like, oh yeah, this game is gonna be. It's gonna. It's made from the ground up. It's gonna be like. It's gonna be very. It's gonna use elements from Last of Us Two, and it really didn't. You know, just having a section in the game where you upgrade your weapons, for example, uh, which is similar to 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 the sequel, and then just having a moment where like you can kill an NPC when he's the last one standing is is not what I would say. Taking the big elements from the se sequel and putting it into the remake, like taking a big element from the sequel and putting it into a, into into the into a part one remake is what Twin Snakes did. That was a big thing. It's like, yeah, we're going to remake Metal Gear Solid 1, but we're going to use the gameplay of Metal Gear Solid 2, and they did that. Last of Us 1 Part 1 didn't... Were part one, Last of Us Part 1 didn't do that. There was no jumping, there was no dodging, there was no clutching. I know, I'm doing this video about Metal Gear Solid 3, and I'm hating on I'm hating on the remake for Last of Us, uh, but uh, I'm just trying to explain the very similar situations and why this doesn't feel like a remake. Um, so then, what's, what's the big changes going to be? What are they actually going to add to this? What could they add in order to justify remaking this? Honestly, the, the, the only things they could really add to this is is the following. Crouching, which I believe was in the 3DS version. Uh, rolling, maybe. The rolling uh, gameplay element from Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, where you're sort of jumping and rolling at the same time. Um, seamless environments, so no loading screens anymore. You just go from one environment to another. That's three things. 
maybe new areas they could put in between those segments like when you go when you're traveling maybe there's new areas they could add uh, maybe they could expand some of the areas obviously they would be the same areas they would just be bigger so they could do that they could do that and and justify remaking this and calling it a remake um boss battles being expanded obviously again bigger areas more to explore more more rage to fight them in and yeah but there's not going to be any story changes so what's the big deal then like what what are you going to actually add to this there's not a lot you could do um the only the only thing i could see easter egg wise is maybe you go for an area uh, and maybe maybe you wipe some enemies out right uh, and you know your bullet casings fall on the ground but then you go back and it's all gone and it's all cleaned up and maybe you find like these collectibles these xof collectibles when you go back to certain areas and you find these collectibles and it's like what's this doing here no dialogue no nothing you just collect them and that's just and you get like a like a little writing or whatever that just explains it and it's like that's for that's for fans of mgs5 who played it and they're like ah i see what they're doing you know skull face or xof is there behind the scenes cleaning up some of the mess that uh snake leaves maybe they could do something like that uh, but that's really all that because again they said they're not they're not bringing the voice actors back they're reusing the old audio so unless they said they're bringing the voice actors back then i could see some changes some new dialogue being added uh maybe some new uh maybe adding cassette tapes maybe after you finish the game or you complete certain segments or you defeat certain bosses maybe you get these cassette tapes where you have zero talking to Skullface, uh, and you know Skullface is there he's there during operation snake eater and, and he's giving his pov about certain elements certain segments maybe stuff like that uh maybe dwelling more into oslo and his uh, heritage and that like uh but we're not getting that uh, like unless unless konami wants to surprise us and they are actually going to add that but they're not they're just not saying anything yet but so far, all I'm seeing from this is that this is just going to be a big graphical enhancement. Like. Right. <laughs> um, right. I'm, I'm thinking about the, uh, I'm thinking about the, uh, the Guy Savage portion, like, because that, that, that was cut from the HD collection. And I'm wondering how they would do the Nightmare sequence. And I'm wondering if maybe they would pull, put a portion of something related to Metal Gear Solid Rising into it. Because, like, maybe you could do Metal Gear Solid Rising, right? You put Metal Gear Solid Rising in there. And then you play as Raiden for a bit, slashing up enemies. Maybe maybe you just replace some of the enemies as monsters or something. Or maybe maybe you set up or maybe you set up Silent Hill. You know, if, if Silent Hill 2 Remake, for example, comes out, like, sometime next year or late or whatever. And it doesn't actually come out this year. I think it is coming out this year, I think, maybe. But maybe they could do that. Maybe they could do a Silent Hill 2 Easter egg, and they and they put that in there, and, and then you, it's just riding, slicing up uh, Silent Hill enemies instead. And a snake wakes up, and he's like, "I had the sword in my hand," like, and, and just replace Raiden's face with snakes in it. Like they could do that, and that way they think they could implement the nightmare sequence, so they could bring that back somehow by doing that by doing it that way. That that I think that would work kind of cool, right? But other than that, like. Yeah, what's what's the biggest changes they're gonna do this? Because it sounds like it's just gonna be the exact same game. Like down to the T. Like obviously there's gonna be gameplay improvements. There's gonna be gameplay improvements, but story and dialogue and everything is gonna be the same. So how can you justify calling this a remake? That's what I don't get. Like this feels very much like what Naughty Dog did with The Last of Us One and they tried to justify that and then and then they did no big changes to that game and they released it at full price. Now I think the biggest difference between this and and that game is that Metal Gear Solid is a twenty year old game. By the time we get to next year, twenty twenty four, it'll have been twenty years since Metal Gear Solid three was originally released. So and yeah, a lot of people wouldn't have played it unless they got the HD collection back on the PS3. Like this is this is an old school game, and to modernize it, you know, gameplay control wise, and updating the graphics in a way that makes it more appealing to newcomers, and just keeping the story because the story is good. It's it's already perfect. There's no need to change it. It would mean a lot actually, like, and for people for new players to experience this. So that's justified in a way because you're looking at a 20 year old game. That is justified. That remake is justified. Um, something like Resident Evil 1, when they remade it in 2022 on the GameCube, that was justified because you're going from a PS1 game to this very graphically enhanced 
uh, video game, not not pick, you know, not this little pixelated game where you could hardly make out the characters' faces. You know, you could see the the mouths moves, the hands moves. Like it wasn't like like blocks. Now, you know, that was justified. A remake for part for Last of Us Part One was not justified because that game already looked and played good on a remaster. The only reason you would remake Part One is if you were going to bring over the control system from Part Two into Part One, and they didn't do that. They rushed it. They they sold it for a high price, and they basically scammed players out of their hard-earned money for that. I played it. I actually bought the Last of Us remake part and and played it, and I was not satisfied. I was pretty disappointed, like with what I paid for. Like, and I still I got it cheap as well, not a lot cheap. But I didn't pay full price for it, and I still felt ripped off. So you know, looking at that and this, like, what the biggest difference is basically age. Like that was that was a game that came out like what eight years ago, nine years ago. It wasn't justified to be remade, but this is a twenty-year-old game. It's a twenty-year-old classic with one of the best storylines, best boss battles, some of the, like best gameplay, like and environments in general, and characters and story. That deserves to be experienced by newcomers. And the fact that calling it Delta and not Metal Gear Solid 3 makes me think that Konami is going to look at the success, the, sorry, the success, the success of this. And if it is successful, they're going to chronologically remake the other games in order. Like, does that mean we're going to get like portable? I don't think we'll get portable ops. I think we'll get, I, I think we'd get some sort of remake for Peace Walker. Maybe with, with actual cutscenes. They'll look at them and be like, okay, we're going to graphically enhance this. And we're going to add proper 3D cutscenes to this, not 2D cutscenes. And they'll still keep the same voiceovers. Like, but in that way, it would feel justified to be a remake. To be remade and then feel like a remake. Um, and then, obviously, from there on, obviously, Metal Gear Solid Five doesn't need to be remade. Like, that game still plays fine. Even, even like, what? Uh, it, wow, nearly... Would, would it would it be nine years? No, it's not even nine years. It's like how many years has it been since Metal Gear? It's been it's been eight years. Wow, look at that! Like like next year will be nine years. I'm afraid it's been nine years. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow, that's crazy to think. But yeah, they could just re-release that, and if they really wanted to, they could work on Kingdom of the Flies and include that, and then release that because all the audio stuff for that game was complete as well, wasn't it? So they could just go back and look at that, and then. Fix that up, and then boom, there you go. Um, uh, and then, and then they could they could just call that a remaster. They wouldn't they wouldn't even have to call it a remake. It would be a remaster. And then the next games to remake after that would be Metal Gear One and Two, because those would really need remakes. But yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to be put, thinking about this in a logical way. Like, what they really can do going forward. Like, this is Konami's comeback. This is their redemption. You have to keep in mind that. A lot of the old school people that worked at Konami that got rid of Kojima are apparently no longer there. And uh, they, they even created a new studio, a new building in that where they can actually make AAA title games now. So the old Konami regime is gone. And there's a new Konami regime now as well. And the thing to keep in mind as well is that this remake, for example, is being made by people who worked on the Metal Gear Solid games. So it's not just like random people, like people who made Metal Gear Solid are working on this. So, you know, if anyone like scared, like, oh yeah, Kojima's not part of this, it's like, no. No, I think I think this is going to turn out okay. You also have to keep in mind, Kojima always wanted to pass the torch to, to the new generation. And yeah, they just wouldn't let him. So I don't think he's upset about this. Like, it, it was a long time coming. Like, if they go to him to get advice, that's fine. I, like, that's the best thing I would want to see, like them going to him and asking for advice, what what he would do, and be like, do this, do that, and do that. Like, you know, he wants, to, he doesn't want anything to do with Metal Gear anymore, given the chance. Like, and if they do ask him and he wants to help out, I imagine he would, but not not in a big way, like just in a, an, an advisory way. But people worried about this, like, like I get it. Like, I mean, look what they did with Metal Gear Survive, right? But Metal Gear Survive was from the old regime. This is the new regime. We're getting Silent Hill 2 remake. We're getting a bunch of other Silent Hill games. We're getting Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. Potentially other remakes as well. And then the only thing left in now is for Castlevania to come back and make a return. Like, that's what I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that. But we're in a good place. That's the thing. We're in a good place. This isn't this isn't like a naughty dog trying to rush crap out and get money for a product that didn't sell very well. Uh, 
Sorry about that. Uh, I did, by the way, I did play Last of Us 2 finally last year and yeah, abysmal. Abysmal. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I gave it a chance and I wasn't a fan of it. Um, but yeah, this, this isn't going to be a, a similar situation like that because Konami knows they need to they need to get the fans back on their side and this is the way to do it. And they want to do it right. If they screw this up, then it's kind of over for them, really. Like, and Metal Gear will be dead again, officially. I think for gone, good. It's coming back. They're doing it with MGS3, which makes a lot of sense. It's the first story chronologically, so you know a lot of new fans can get invested that way. They won't have to play like something old or, or in between and be like, "What is he talking about? Who are these characters? Like, where's what's that game? Do I need to play that?" Like, no, we're getting it chronologically, so kind of makes sense. And we're also getting the Master Collection, so, you know, we're sorted on that. Hopefully we get Metal Gear Solid 4 as well, fingers crossed. Uh, the, the, the person who leaked Metal Gear Solid Volume 1 Master Collection also said, and this was, this was a, like a day or two before the actual thing was confirmed, but he got it right on the money what games would be included. And he also said that MGS4 would not be getting a Master Collection. Instead, Volume 2 would contain portable ops. Peace Walker and Rising instead. Now I'm hoping that that part is wrong. Uh, oh, I'm kind of hoping that maybe Konami is looking at including MGS4 because uh, if you go on the site, it does have like a plus thing there on 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 the games next to one, two, and three. So maybe they are looking at trying to include four in that Volume One package, and then Volume Two is just going to be sort of like the spin-offs, if you will. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how things go. We'll see. But for now, we're in a good place. We just have to hope. That's it. But we also, at the same time, we still have to go into this with an open mind and a logical mind as well. And not just like, yeah, like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a big thing. No, it, it looks like it's going to be a very simple remake. But it feels like it's a remake that's justified. Or a remaster, a very high-budget remaster that's justified. But at the same time, we can't hate. And we need to we need to learn to give them a chance. But at the same time, we also need to be wary. We need to see where this goes. Fingers crossed it turns out good. Because, yeah, I really want to go back and play MGS games, man. Like, it's been years, and just seeing this is so hopeful. Because it is my favourite franchise, next to Resident Evil. So, like, I'm just praying that it turns out really well. Again, fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, that's my video. Hope you liked it. As always, like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care, and...